I was 23 years old in what most people would consider the prime of my life and was handed a death sentence. I looked at the doctor that day. My parents were in the chair next to me and the doctor delivered the news. Less than 15% chance of survival. He said, Dylan, you have tumors in your liver, lung, neck, and three tumors in your spine. My name is Dylan Thomas Slattery. My FD nickname is Jeter, and I was diagnosed with melanoma. A year and a half before that, it was April 2013, where they diagnosed me with melanoma the first time and performed a surgery on my neck to remove the mole and the tumor underneath the skin. I wanted nothing to do with being a 22 year old with cancer. And so I hid behind that. I didn't want to be associated with cancer in any way. When people would ask me about the scar, I'd try to change the subject as soon as I could. Six months later, I was involved in a car accident. I was with some friends and an ice storm came through. And on our way home, we crossed the center line, hit the ditch and rolled the truck up to probably six times. I realized that the girl who was in the back seat with me behind the driver had been partially ejected. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to save her and after that, I suffered from survivor's remorse. I would ask the question over and over and over again, why me? I did anything I could to feel good in the moment and that continued through the experimental treatment. During that time, I would spend the week in the ICU However, I still didn't want to be that 23-year-old with cancer, and so I still spent my weekends in the bars with my friends trying to be a normal 23-year-old and continued for months when I would self-medicate with drugs, with alcohol, anything I could use to escape from reality. Rock bottom came when my friends reached out to my mom and were worried about me. I had made some comments when I was under the influence of alcohol, that I was feeling hopeless, that I didn't feel like I had a purpose, and I wasn't sure what I was even doing here on Earth. What they didn't know was that it was the 23rd anniversary of my father committing suicide a month before I was born. And so my mom didn't take that very lightly, and I woke up the next morning with her at my bedside asking me, Dylan, why aren't you in class? What are you doing? And at that point, I had to own up to the fact that I hadn't been to class in months and that I was truly lost. That's when I discovered First Descents and this idea of outliving it came to the forefront. I did my FD1 program in Hood River, Oregon in June of 2018. The impact that First Descents has had on my life is just incredible. Whether it's with the community that they surround you with or the guides that are teaching you how to maneuver down the river, they're there for you every step of the way. Everybody has this commonality and it creates this bond and this instant connection. And for me, that week with First Ascents allowed me to start crafting this identity of who I wanted to be going forward and leave behind that person who would deny and self-medicate and was so prideful so this was a picture I took right after I was declared no sign of disease and taken off of the treatments. I look pretty rough, but you gotta start somewhere. Cancer knocked me down to a place where I had never been before. And what I soon realized was that rock bottom is a great place to build your foundation on. One of my favorite quotes is by Stuart Scott, who passed away from cancer. And he said, when you die, you don't lose to cancer. You beat cancer by how you live, why you live, and the manner in which you live. And First Ascents showed me what that looks like.
having that support is, it's hard to describe. They show you that cancer doesn't define who you are, but how you respond says more about you than anything. I never expected to live very long. Cancer came into my life at a point where I was feeling hopeless and feeling a lack of purpose. Hitting rock bottom gave me the foundation that I needed to build my future on. And First Ascents showed me how to live my life each and every day to the fullest, reconnecting with why I live and showing me how I can live in a way that takes out living it to the fullest.